Here. Today we are going to learn about colors. You may think colors are simple, but there's more to them than you know. Let's start with the basics. All colors come from mixing three primary colors. The three primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Primary colors cannot be mixed from any other colors. Let's see what happens when you mix two colors together. Try mixing red and yellow together by dragging each of them to the middle of the palette. Very good! Mixing red and yellow together creates orange. Orange is a secondary color. Secondary colors are made from mixing two primary colors together. Go ahead and try mixing other primary colors together to see what you get. Nicely done! Blue and red make purple. There's still one more secondary color to mix. Lovely! Mixing yellow and blue will give you green. Orange, green and purple are the three secondary colors. The primary and secondary colors together represent most of the colors you're probably familiar with. Let's talk for a minute about complementary colors. The colors across from each other on the color wheel are considered to be complementary to each other. So, the three sets of complementary colors are red and green, orange and blue, and yellow and purple. Complementary colors are said to look good together. Why? Look at how my orange beret goes with my blue complexion. I've received many compliments on it. <laughs> However, let's see what happens when you mix two complementary colors together. Indeed, mixing two complementary colors together will give you a neutral gray-brown. There's still another category of colors we have yet to talk about. These are the tertiary colors, which are made by mixing a primary color with a secondary color that's next to it on the color wheel. For instance, why don't you try mixing red with orange? Very good! This color is called vermilion or red orange. Try to make the rest of the tertiary colors by mixing adjacent primary and secondary colors. What a lovely color! This one is called magenta or red purple. This color is called teal or blue-green. Very nice! You've made chartreuse, also known as yellow-green. Violet or blue purple. Just one more to go. There we are. This is amber, also called yellow orange. Look
Look at how far you've come. You started with just three primary colors, and now you've mixed all three secondary colors and six tertiary colors that make up the 12 colors of the color wheel. Let's review what you've learned so far. What type of color is this? Oops. Great job! Which one of these is not a secondary color? Great job! What is the name of this color? Great job! What two colors would you mix to make this color? Great job! What two colors would you mix to make green? Job. Which one of these is a tertiary color? Great job! What two colors would you mix to make this color? Great job! What color would you get if you mix blue with yellow? What color would you get if you mixed these two colors? Oops! Great job! What color would you get if you mixed red with blue? Job. There's yet another element of color we haven't talked about yet. Value! When I say value, I mean how light or dark a color is. Or, to put it another way, how much white or black there is in a given color. Let's learn about value while we paint a sphere. First, Mix black and white together to make a medium gray. Excellent! Now, paint this circle to begin the sphere. Now, let's add a little more black to our gray. This will make a dark gray, which will be our first shadow tone. Paint this area with the dark gray. See how it starts to look dimensional? some of this shadow color here as well. This is the beginning of a cast shadow. Now, let's add just a little more black to our color. 
This will be our darkest shadow tone. Add some of this color to this area. This gives the shadow more contrast and depth. Paint some of that color into the cast shadow too. Here, let me clear the palette for you. Next, we're going to mix our highlight tones. Start by mixing medium gray again, but this time add some extra white to it. This will be our first highlight tone. of this highlight tone at the top of the sphere. It's really starting to look three-dimensional. Let's also use some of this color to soften the edge of the cast shadow. For our last color, add some more white to make a bright highlight. This one must be used sparingly. Just paint a little bit towards the top of the sphere. Fantastic! What a lovely painting! It really looks like it could jump off the page. I hope you enjoyed learning how black and white can shift the value of a color. They can also be mixed into other colors to create a variety of light and dark colors. Let's put what you've learned to the test. Try to match the color I show you by mixing the colors available to you. Mix this color. Job. Mix this color. Job. Mix this color. Job. Mix this color. Great job. Mix this color. Job. Mix this color. Great job.
job! Mix this color. Job. Mix this color. Great job. Mix this color. Job. Mix this color. Great job! Let's head over to the gallery to see your paintings. Congratulations! Your work looks fabulous! You're ready to paint a masterpiece!